All right, friend, let's go ahead and install the Shopify theme. Be sure to check your email. Um, you'll get an email with the download link. You would then go ahead and click download link and then it will take you to this page. You will also click download now so we can um, install that Shopify theme. So then that's downloaded to your computer. Make sure you already have a Shopify store account created. You'll click um, online store and then you'll click um, add theme. You'll go to upload zip file. Be sure to click add file and click um, from your computer, your desktop, your desktop, just add the file and then the theme will be uploaded. Uh, be sure to click publish. Then you want to go ahead and click customize. And then here's the theme already pretty much done for you at this point. You just have to insert the logo banners and templates. So then um, you'll want to go ahead and go back to the learn your store guide that is also downloaded. So go ahead and check your um, downloads and then uh, tab five templates, logos, um, section five. I mean, you'll scroll down and then it'll say uh, Canva templates. You'll click edit logo here. And then it'll give you a template to edit in Canva. Create a Canva account if you do not have one. I always recommend Pro. And then you'll um, unclick two, click page one, transparent background, and download. So be sure you only download one logo at a time because it is two logos. You'll click edit theme and logos. And then like I said again, click upload image, add the, lo uh, the logo straight from your uh, desktop computer. Click done. And then look, there's your logo uh, uploaded. Click save. If I'm going too fast, just press pause. And then next, you want to go back to the same um, Learn Your Store guide. Same process, download the banners one by one. Then you'll click uh, Done Download. Then once that downloads to your computer, go back over to Shopify and click that first banner right there. And then you'll go ahead and click Select Image. And then um, click the banner from your laptop, desktop, and then click Done. And then um, there's the banner right there. So we're going to repeat this process two more times because this theme comes with three websites. So I'm going to repeat the same process going back to Canva, clicking download, then unchecking all of the boxes and just downloading page two and then done and then download. And then we're going to hop back over to Shopify, upload the second banner from the computer and then same process with the third banner. Be sure to click the gray little, you know, banner. Um, just so you can, it can, it can take you directly to where the banner, <clears throat> excuse me, directly where the banner needs to be uploaded. If this is too much, be sure to click the link in the description. I can install the theme for you. Um, so yeah, that's in the description if you need assistance with installing the Shopify theme. So next, after all three are uploaded, click save. And then the next thing we need to do is upload the collections, um, cover photos. So you'll click collections. And as you see, I already have it named tops, bottoms, and dresses. At that point, go back to Canva. Um, go back to the learn your store guide. This is just me already in Canva, by the way, but go back to your, the learn your store guide. It will be a, a template link for the cover photos. Same process as the banners. You'll just download them one by one. Go back to Shopify and um, go to products, collections, and create your own collections. So you'll click create collection. I'm going to go ahead and name it bottoms. And uh, since I downloaded that first cover photo, I'll click add image and then that'll be added from my computer and I'll click save. We're going to repeat this two more times for the tops cover photos and the um, dresses. And then all you have to do is create another collection one by one, step by step. And um, this is what they look like. I'm going to click download, show you guys one more time. Page two, which is tops download. And then hop back over to Shopify, add the name tops, and then the cover photo and click save. So after that, you'll go back to online store, customize, and then I'll show you guys what the cover photos look like. This is a very easy Shopify theme install. After that, last thing is to sync the dropshipping vendor. If you're dropshipping, if you have your own products, you're done. But if not, go ahead and um, here's a dropshipping vendor you could use. DSER, click on sales channel, and then you'll click DSER. It's a dropshipping vendor that um, syncs with AliExpress. You'll click install, and then you have to click install again. And this is a you know tedious process. Click install again, and this is why you know I have an option if you want me to install the theme for you and sync the vendors and all that. Um, click in login and authorize, and then you make your okay. So right here, create an account. Once you create an account, it'll take you to your dashboard. Um, Go ahead and click confirm at the bottom and click the free plan. Always click free. This is a free vendor. You don't have to pay. Now you need to make sure you are created an account on AliExpress. 
already have AliExpress account, so I'm gonna just sign in. You can go, go ahead and click register. And then um, after that, you can just type in, um, this is me still signing in by the way. So after that, you'll click AliExpress, log in, and then you can start importing the a vendor. So it's gonna be like a lot of pop-ups, y'all. Just exit out, click save, save your passwords. AliExpress and DSR, they have a lot of pop-ups. Like I said, exit out, exit out, exit out. It is a lot going on, I know. After that, you'll click to the left side, um, exit out again. You'll click import lists. And now we're going to sync a dropshipping vendor. So this is how you do it. Exit out at the top, exit out again. Yeah, they, they be doing too much. Okay, that's AliExpress. This is a vendor you could use. I will attach actually a free vendors list for you guys. So be sure to check all your downloads. Type in weird puss at the top. And then these are all items. You can sync anything on AliExpress, by the way. You click the item, get the URL at the top, copy, go back to, I like to exit out. They make all these tabs. Go back to DSER and, and uh, paste that, click OK. And now the item will be, um, go ahead and exit out or, or click confirm. So now the item will be downloaded to DSER, but you still have to do a couple more steps to sync it with Shopify. Pay attention here. Press pause anytime. You'll click the pencil at the bottom, edit products. At this point, another pop-up, great. Exit out, name the product, name it whatever you want, okay? I try to do cute, trendy names. This is the vendor I use for my um, baddie boutiques. So you can add to collections, tops, name it. Next, you wanna click um, change image. I don't like to use the models, um, you know, I don't know who that is, so I'll just use like the regular cover photo without the model. Click variants, so at this point you're editing, you're editing the product and see it shows you how much it costs, the shipping and all that. So I'll click the arrow just so I can edit all at the same time. I'll go ahead and click change compare price, zero, because that's when stuff is on sale. Um, and then um, I will go ahead and change the price. You want to make a profit. So I would double slash triple the price of this top. So here I am thinking... I think I put like 35. So yeah, I'll add like a number. Then once you in, uh, enter the number, click OK. And then you'll want to go to description. Next, you have to edit the description. This is what will be this whole thing will be synced to Shopify. So be sure you, you know, read it word for word. I don't need all this information, the vendor's name. All I need is like the fabric, fabric and material type stuff, you know? So delete that, click the top and click heading one and go to normal because it's too big. And then I'll get rid of all the extra space. Scroll down, delete these extra photos. Yes, delete them because there's going to be another option where the photos will sync. So these are just extra, delete them. And then as you see at the top, images, here you go, all the images. You see the orange bubble, orange bubble at the bottom, cover image and variant image. Never delete those two. The first two photos where the, it's like orange at the bottom right here, make sure those are always checked, okay? And then you can uncheck whatever you do not want to sync to Shopify. What's checked will sync to Shopify. What's not checked will not sync to Shopify. Be sure once you're done, scroll to the, bo scroll to the bottom and click save. The orange save button at the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, so once you're done, I'm done. I'll click save. Those two are still checked. Cool. I'll click save. And then um, after that, I'm going to go ahead and import this item to um, Shopify. Oh, the vendor's name is actually on one of those photos. You'll have to crop it. You can edit that in Shopify. And then click push to store. Also publish to online store and push to stores. There it is. This is how you sync the vendor. If you want to add more products, just go back. Do the same process over and over again. Back to AliExpress. Copy and paste the URL. Paste it in a DSER. If you need assistance, click the link in the description. I can assist. This is pretty much the same process if you have a hair store as well. I'll leave that vendor, I'm not vendor, I'll leave that instruction uh, video tutorial for hair if you bought the hair theme store in the description. And as far as digital products, I'll go ahead and leave a helpful link as well. So chat with me on my website if you have any questions. I hope this video was helpful. And yeah, this is pretty much how you... Um, Go ahead and sync the vendor and add the templates and the logos. So, yeah.